Alright, welcome back to the channel. In the last episode I covered the swap out of the drive motors from this locomotive and now we are left with some uh, blank wires and to get this locomotive running again I will install a easel sound decoder and that will be the scope of this video. So let's get right into it. For now I need to determine the positioning of the decoder. I take into account the length of the existing wiring and some other factors. But I don't like what I see because this weight is directly on top of the speaker. You can see I pre-loosened the weight so that I can move it and I'd rather have it on top of the other weight to get uh, free of the speaker. I just checked if we are clearing the body of the locomotive right here when I mount the weight on top of the other and the good news is we are fine. So I will use screws to mount one weight to the other. Since we relocated the weight, it's now time to determine the position of the decoder and my plan is to position it right here because the shortest wires I have are the speaker wires and they have to go right here so they are long enough and all the other uh, wiring is also long enough so I don't have to solder. To mount the decoder properly I saved up some screws and most important um, some distance pieces from the old decoder so they will go between the weight and the decoder to prevent any shortages. So there we go, the decoder is solidly mounted on the weight and now we can get to the wiring part. To get my wiring right I strictly refer to the owner's manual of the decoder and on this page you can see every single part and the description of what it is and what we have to uh, clamp into it. I will start out with the speaker inputs. They are right here. Next up are the drive motors, which will go in this and in this part. Um, you have to figure out in advance uh, in which direction the motors are turning so that you wire them correctly. Same goes for the power supply connection or track connection. Um, we will clamp them in these two ports. Um, right here it's also important that you 
know which is the left track and the right track so that you don't short out the decoder. Now we are on the right side of the decoder to wire the headlights, front and rear. So these are those two clamps. The last additional connections we have to make are the cap lights from the locomotive and we will um, clamp them on auxiliary 1 and auxiliary 2. Now I have made a mistake because I forgot to put in the body of the locomotive before I clamp in the roof. So I have to redo that. We have only one step left before we can close the locomotive. So um, all the lighting wires have a U plus connection and there's only one part and I have one, two, three, four, five, six wires to go in. So I have to solder them together and connect only one single wire to this part. And don't forget the shrink hose. You will be disappointed if you do. You are always one hand short if you're soldering. So oh, that's a good connection. Now let's get a shrink hose over it. And just like that I have a single connection to put in the decoder. We are finally ready to put this locomotive back together. Alright, another project nearly finished. The only thing that's left is we have to program the decoder, but I'm not able to do that. Uh, so I will give this locomotive to my good friend and he will program it for me. That's it for this video, so I hope you've enjoyed it and we will see us on the next one. Bye!